I was just going to talk about three things. First of all, to make a general statement about the added value that I think unions bring uh, to Britain's workplaces. Secondly, to talk about the vital role played by local trade union representatives in particular. And then thirdly, really, just to make a plea for the government to tear down some of the rhetoric it uses about its own workforce and actually engage its own workforce uh, a little bit more effectively. So, recognition I've got five minutes, just quickly go through those, those five points. In terms of the added value, I mean, I think the first thing to say is that unions do not exist to help Britain's workplaces run more smoothly or to make them more productive. I mean, our, our core reason for being is to collectively and individually represent our members, their families and their communities uh, in the workplace and beyond. So whether that's um, expressed as uh, dignity on the job, uh, a voice at work, whether you think about the narrow workplace set, set of interests or the interests more broadly affecting our members, uh, communities. Our job is to represent our members and working people uh, more broadly. That said, I think there's absolutely no contradiction between that core uh, mission, if you like, uh, and working positively with employers to make workplaces run better, to make workplaces uh, more productive and better places uh, to work. Uh, last year we published a document at the TUC called Road to Recovery. Uh, if you put Road to Recovery uh, TUC into Google, it will spit out uh, the document, but we set out there the case for unions making a better, a bigger contribution to Britain's workplaces uh, and Britain's economy in terms of reduced staff turnover, uh, reduced employment tribunal claims, helping improve financial performance, um, helping <coughs> mitigate the perceived negative impacts around innovation and change uh, amongst employees. And, and practically speaking, in workplaces up and down the country, there are unions working positively with employers to deliver on all of those things. That doesn't mean that every unionised workplace is a sort of nirvana where management and employees uh, get on well and productivity is going through the ceiling. But I think what it does show is that there's a potential in every unionised workplace for those positive uh, relationships. And I won't give you all the stats, you'll find them in that Road to Recovery uh, publication. Second point, if you are talking about those potential benefits, I think it's important to recognise that those benefits don't fall from the sky. So it's not a case of an employer signs an agreement with, an employer, uh, with a union uh, and all of a sudden these benefits automatically uh, derive. Underpinning the best of everything we do in workplaces are local representatives. We have 200,000 lay reps, many of whom give up their own time, uh, put in their own effort, time away from their families to help uh, represent their fellow workers, whether that's around health and safety, access to skills, uh, representation of work and so on. And from a union point of view, where we have confident trained reps who are properly supported, that's where people are more likely to think that the union does a good job in the workplace and where people are more likely to join. But it's also where employers are more likely to think the union does a good job uh, as well. And actually the worst of all possible worlds, worlds for both employers and unions and our members is having a unionised agreement that is nothing more than a piece of paper and actually there's no living, breathing presence uh, in the workplace. That throws up some really important issues about support for lay reps, how we encourage people to, to give up their time to become activists at a time when uh, more broadly across the piece people are feeling uh, under pressure and not being able to give that, that time and effort. But just to give you a bit of an idea of what that practically means, in 2007 the uh, Department of Business Innovation Skills as it was then issued a joint statement with the CBI and the TUC about the value of union reps and that was underpinned by biz, uh, a BIS study that had found that union reps were worth somewhere between 3 billion and 10.2 billion pound a year to the UK economy in terms of increased and improved uh, productivity. Third point is about uh, governments, um, and I think particularly uh, you know people will have seen the announcement around November uh, the 30th, what's happening around pensions. But if this government is serious about creating a more positive climate around industrial and employment relations, uh, then I think it has to think about how it acts uh, as an employer uh, as well uh, as a government. And actually, the, te the message and the tone the government sends. Uh, is important. I'm, I'm not going to get into the politics of 30,000 job losses in the public sector or arbitrary pay freezes or tax on pensions or any of that. Just to give you one example of the sort of issue that I'm talking about. Uh, just uh, I think last year the Prime Minister made uh, this statement describing his own workforce and I'll quote from David Cameron himself. Uh, I can announce today that we're taking on the enemies of enterprise, the bureaucrats uh, in government departments who can got ridiculous rules and regulations that make it impossible for small firms. The town hall officials who take uh, forever <coughs> to make planning decisions that can make or break uh, a business. The public sector procurement managers uh, who think, well, you know, I'm not going to go on and on, etc, etc. I mean, my one observation from that quote would be, and I've dealt with lots of public and private sector employers, as I know Sue, 
uh, and others have. It would be extremely unusual for a chief executive or a chairman of a private sector company to talk in those terms about his or her own workforce, to effectively characterise uh, their own workforce as part uh, of the problem. And actually, I think if the government is serious about good industrial and employment relations, is serious about you know good workplaces, more productive workplaces, it needs to be serious about engaging its workforce positively uh, as well. So, summary, I think unions can add value to, to workplaces, that union reps are the key to that, and that government needs to grow up in its use and how it um, uh, addresses its own workforce if it's become part of the pro uh, solution rather than the problem. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks very much.